The printing station today will be at the blue table. There are only four jelly plates to print with, so only four artists can print at a time. There will be two paint trays, and there will be a basket in the middle. Basket contains lots of different printing supplies, kind of odd objects like ribbon, bubble wrap, some odd looking plates, and lace dollies. You'll notice that all these objects have one thing in common. They have different textures. We are going to be using these textures in our prints. Now, when you are ready to print, you'll notice that the jelly plate is on the left and there's a spot for your printing paper. Make sure your name is on the bottom of your printing paper. Before you print, pick three to four items from the basket to print with. When you're ready to begin painting your jelly plate, make sure you do this step kind of fast because you want to make sure that the paint is wet so that it will be able to print. If it's dry, then it will not work. I'm going to choose three paint colors and I'm going to split my jelly plate into three sections with three different colors. I'm going to practice blending the colors together by overlapping them. Now we're kind of breaking some rules today in art. There is no water to wash out your brush when you need to change out the color, so just try and wipe off most of it onto the plate before you dip it into a new color. When you're finished painting, place your paintbrush on the tray and begin to quickly place your textured items onto your plate. You will want to do this step a little bit quicker because the paint is starting to dry and you also want to do it very gently. You don't want to poke into the jelly plate. And even overlap the textured items or only use part of it. Here is an example of my textured items overlapped on my printing plate. When you're ready to print, pick up your printing paper and make sure you flip the name side down. Before you just place it on top, make sure it's centered and begin to carefully massage the back of your paper. You want to do this very gently. What I did was I quietly counted to 10 in my head, and then when I was finished, I lifted my print up and placed it back where it said paper. You're going to quickly lift up the textured items off of your jelly plate, and we're going to print one more time. This is called a ghost print. The paint that is left over is what we're going to print again with. You don't have to add any more paint. We're just going to print again Flipping the name side down and massaging it again, we're going to print with what's left over on the plate. After the second time of printing, you will see that there's more texture in your print. Turn the textured items to the basket for the next person to use. Carefully take your print to the drying rack. For our next step, we're going to be printing our letter onto the print that we made last week. Let's go over our printing supplies. On the very left, we will have our printing ink, which is also known as paint, your brayer, a messy mat, and your printed paper from last week. You are ready to print. Make sure your letter goes on the messy mat and your printed paper goes on the spot where it says paper. Begin by picking up your brayer and roll it back and forth in the ink. Then, Roll the ink onto your foam letter very gently. You do wanna make sure that the foam letter is all covered in ink. You'll want to do this step fairly quickly because you don't want the paint to start to dry. Take your inked letter and flip the ink side down in the center of your printed paper. Next, take a scrap sheet of paper and place it on top. Give it a good, gentle 10 second massage. After the good massage, lift up that scrap piece of paper and then gently and carefully lift up your foam letter and you will see your printed letter with your design. When you're finished printing, turn in your foam letter to the cardboard box in front of the drying rack on the floor. Your print will go on the drying rack. 